Hello folks, this is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And me and this old tiller's had a problem in the past. I developed some gout in my wrist. It stayed in there for about a year. And so it's damaged my wrist to where it's sore, sore, sore all the time. And I was trying to crank this tiller. I grabbed that rope and I got a good hold and I pulled the best I could but I'm so weak I didn't couldn't pull very hard and that thing jerked back and when it did oh man did it make my wrist hurt I doubled over in pain hollering there's only been a couple of times in my life that I hurt that bad <laughs> and I had my little chair and so I went and sat down in that chair and I was trying to dig my phone out of my pocket to call Janice and that's the last thing I remember Sometime later, I woke up on the ground. I had passed out from pain. <laughs> I got to try to crank this tiller again today. <laughs> I've been praying, Lord, please help me have the strength to jerk this thing hard enough so it don't jerk my wrist again. <laughs> you see this area right here? All of this is gas tank. <laughs> they put a big enough gas tank on this thing you could till 20 acres and I don't do but a little bitty spot. I don't fill the gas tank up very full to keep from ending up with a bunch of old stale gas after it sits up all winter. The only problem is the next time you go to crank it, <laughs> it might be out of gas. <laughs> that thing's like me, it's old and wore out. Give her a little squirt of starting fluid, see what happens. I pulled and pulled on this thing, I can't crank it. I just can't do it. I'm going to have to call the cavalry again. I just can't pull it hard enough, I guess. You got gas? The only problem is, the next time you go to crank it, <laughs> it might be out of gas. <laughs> We're going to try a new trick called gasoline. <laughs> Somebody said these things don't run too good on air. <laughs> Which reminds me of something my granddaddy used to always say, be sure and check the oil. It won't hurt to run it without gas. Here we go. <laughs> that thing will just about plow itself. But it's dry as a powder house out here. Folks, I believe that God wants what's best for us. But at the same time, he's not going to do every single little thing for you. He expects you to help yourself sometimes and help others. We're going to try to do our part and get a little dampness in this ground. Got her fixed up now. But I got to thinking, while I'm waiting on this sprinkler to dampen this ground where I might can till it a little bit, I thought it'd be a good time to share with you some stuff that I just can't understand. For instance, I saw on Facebook the other day where somebody was having a toddler clean out, boys and girls. I guess maybe they're just tired of having the kids around. And another thing, it seems like it's always the first five days after the weekend that's the hardest. And here's a tip that might <laughs> help save your life. You know, time and time again, if you have to fill out forms that ask you, who do we need to contact in case of an emergency? I always say, call the ambulance. Cause I guarantee you there ain't nobody in my family gonna answer a call that they don't have in their contact list. So call the ambulance. Listen. <laughs> I hear thunder in the distance. <laughs> ain't God good. And always remember folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all. <laughs>